Call allies to war. It is time, you're right. We have them for a reason. Let's bring them in. I'm not betrothed. Yeah, that's okay. We can wait a little bit. Can't call in my liege. Did we siege this or not? We're not sieging it. I mean, we must have finished it, right? The king was siege leader. We're not restarting the siege, though. I mean, it's on fire. There we go. Now it's restarting the siege. So we have to redo it again. Well, that's kind of annoying. Now, hopefully our allies actually bring in some numbers to the game. We will see. Uh-oh. Guys, this might be a really short game. Um, yeah, we're, we've are we been sieged out. We don't have any money for mercs is the problem. They sieged out our capital. They took a bunch of stuff uh, hostage. My counselor Giles was killed. So we have a new bishop. And they're coming to kick my butt. I don't know if I can merc though. Yeah. Can't go into debt greater than two years of your income. We have no money. We may have to do a quick little restart of this. Uh, so I've done like three or four test starts of this, and every time it went perfectly and beautifully. And of course this time, somewhat less so. Alright, we gotta go and dodge this guy for now. And try to group up with my allies. There you go. 800 troops over here, that's great. Can I flag like you can attach to me over here? No, but that's okay. So we're just going to try to get over here with our buddy. It's whiskey he's coming and for chocolate. Me. I know we got whiskey and chocolate coming, but I'm a little concerned right now. Ooh, blossoming friendship. Regilinda Robertine. Is this my sister? It is my sister. Hey! Nice to be friends with your family. Run! Run faster! Run! Run like the wind! Oh my god! Oh my god! Run to your allies! Quickly! We've got some more over here. We've got the numbers! Oh, he's turning around. Ha <laughs> ha! You've fallen into my clever trap of waiting for other people to show up to save me. Spring forth and save me, burly protector! Alright. I don't know if this is going to follow me or whatnot. Battle starting, yeah, over here, theoretically, if it gets caught. We've got more buddies coming. Got to be worried a little bit of a river crossing, but that should be okay. Can I go through this way? Oh, I can see the unpassable terrain. Look. So we could get to my capital if I go this way. Yes. Is that how I want to do that? Do I just want to desiege my capital? Yeah. Let's do that because we do have, like, horrible negative war score. Let's stand here um, and see. A judgment. My steward, Alan, spoke to me about the capital sentence that a lowly thief had been giving two days ago. He wanted to know what I thought of such a harsh penalty for a small crime. It's too much. The punishment should match the crime. This is not the law of a godly realm. We should all be satisfied with what we already have. So I can become temperate, I can become cynical, or I can become just. Now, just is often a very good trade. Now, it's, so, it's in here in CK3, it breaks even in terms of stats, the net plus zero. Um, but all your vassals like you a lot more. Also, just characters like you more. This is really good if you lead a big realm. People want to follow a, uh, a leader who is just. Cynical gives us a total of plus four, though. Two intrigue and two learning. We get less piety, but man, oh man, it's pretty strong. And temperate, stewardship, health boost. And it's virtuous to Catholics, which means we would get Catholic opinion and piety. Oh, man. These are all really good choices, actually. And will really influence the flavor of our character. Oh, everyone wants temperate? All right, I like it. Everyone wants temperate. Stewardship and a health boost, which is nice. And it's a virtue. So, so the cat lickers will like us even more. Okay, done. Cat has spoken. We have now gained the trait temperate. So there would be a river crossing, but we'll have 20,000 or 2,000 troops. So we're going to stand here, wait for everyone to jump in. And then try to jump in here. We'll have a river crossing, but we'll have a 2 to 1 numbers advantage. And higher quality troops. He's only got 2 pips of quality. Oh! 
Did we seriously run out of time? Guys, we're just gonna restart. We haven't done much. We'll lose the cat. Maybe we'll get a dog this time. Let's just restart this one. That was actually just really, really, really rotten timing. Really rotten timing. Boo! Let's just start over. All right. A few knights. We'll just repeat what we did. This exact same thing. Look for knights. Get our alliances. This war has started. We'll just restart the war, same as before. Maybe we'll call in our buddies right away. Alt reality without without Rhino. Yeah, that was just really poor timing. Player war. Holy war. I don't remember if there's a button to uh, call people in now. Not saves coming if we're literally restarting the whole game. Right? Literally calling in the whole game. Um, where's my allies? No, go away, you. I don't want this pop-up. I need to get rid of this pop-up. Okay, that's something that needs to do. Because I want to be able to call in my allies now. Raise our armies. We're just going to chill here for now. I tell you're getting Rhino. Rhino might just come back as a dog. Alt universe. Okay, what I might want to do. There you go. Is we're gonna see if we can get and be the siege leader. Oh, he's moving right away. Never mind. Come back. I'd like to be the siege leader here because if there's a weird like piece, I want to be the one that actually holds the war goal. So that's the thing. It was it, everything came down to a very bizarre set of timings that kind of screwed us. Because we would have been fine if the, if we had actually started the siege and just held it. As soon as the the one war piece that like as soon as we've got this, we can probably piece out and just win the war. So it's just a combination of really awkward timings that kind of backfired on us. But we should be back to I think exactly where we were. We didn't do much. Um, we can ask for more knights, but we we still put out the call. We'll just wait there. So let them fight. We'll just siege. We're the siege leader. Knight has arrived. He's now a guest. Oh, 20! There you go. Recruit. It cost me 10 bucks, but we're not at our limit of knights. These guys got beat up. They ran over here. Uh, hopefully, you'll join in the battle today. Well, there we go. One of my counselors died. There we are. Okay. Whew. <laughs> We're straight again, so the dynasty will continue. Oh, we are missing a chancellor. Because he died. Okay. So, Alan... So, this is sorted by relevance, and it's really interesting. Um, we do have the mayor here, who's a powerful vassal. Now, he already has a seat. He's my marshal currently. And he wouldn't be that good. So we can assign Alan here. He's only an 11. It's not fantastic, but it'll have to do. He is wounded. He's one of my knights. Hopefully he lives long enough. Um, reassign. Oh, would he stop being a knight? Oh, he's my steward. These people are crap. We do have the 16 martial guest. You're right. Let's put Mayor Sigmund yeah, in as my chancellor. Chocolate. And then for my marshal... Actually, we can grab Payen, who's a, a 19 marshal. That is better. Okay, that is much better. Atlas and the press. I know. I'm, I'm kind of mad. You see what I mean? Like, this, this is pretty easy. Again, I've done this, like, at least three or four times in testing to know, like, oh, no, no, this is, like, this is just, this is the opener, and it's easy. You just do it. And the stars just aligned to be not quite right. My timing may have been slightly different because of, you know, doing commentary and things. I may have done things in a slightly different order, which may have affected things. That's entirely possible. <laughs> There's still an inter inter interesting character button in CK3, which enables you to follow their life events. Um, I'm not sure. 
Oh, here's the, there's the actual knight I summoned through that. Rather than having to spend the extra 10 gold to recruit, but that's going to be okay. The siege is about to finish. And look at this! This is my liege's war. He's at 100%. My war, I still don't have the freaking siege. But we have everyone in place now. We can also probably go and kick these guys' butt. So almost certainly the king's going to peace out here in a sec. Hopefully after he actually smashes here. And then we can go and siege. Because we don't have the siege again. I don't want to jump in here. Yeah, if you're following me, we'll have a 2-to-1 advantage. There we go. He just peaced out. A 2-to-1 advantage. But we're still bringing our buddies. Is there a way to avoid the river crossing? Oh, the, the people are already locked. Okay, we'll just go. Oh, you get a little preview of the war situation. Please tell me you're going to win this. They have higher quality troops and good land, but we have much bigger numbers. But you can see that it makes a big difference. That is not an easy victory. We will win it, but it's not as easy as it would have been in CK2. Because I think terrain and quality troops have such a bigger impact. Okay. Now let's go back and siege this out some more. Do settlements visibly grow over time? I think so. Uh, more troops doesn't make it go faster, but you can have troops that do, for example, if you have siege weapons. Oh, we're, these guys are going to dodge us, and that's okay. We'll just start besieging his capital, and that's going to be fine enough. And actually, looks like my allies might be hunting. They're not sure what they want to do. Oh, if they leave, I actually can't siege this. Hmm. I think that's what they're a little confused about. Uh, maybe we will go and hunt these guys down one more time, since that's what my allies want to do. Oh, a feast! His feast is loud, adults are boring, and the food is not very good. My guest, Thibault, seems to be enjoying himself. I cannot catch his attention and tell him I did not want to be here. I'm sneaking out. Maybe there's other children. I can become impatient. I can't handle all his people. Time to hide under the table. Become shy. Or at least I can keep eating for as long as I'm here. Become gluttonous. Oh, come on! I'm going to go with Shy. It's less brutal. Damn. Okay. So, since these guys can't figure out where they're going. Oh, are some of them... Are they staying now? Maybe these guys moved away far enough to decide to stay. Now, these are my allies, so the war will go to... The, the, the siege will go to me. <clears throat> Become gluttonous. I want to see if the portrait becomes fat. That is actually interesting. Because we don't have a cat. I know, right? Where's our damn cat? How do we have a few knights? Did we... We did recruit some. Expensive to recruit more. Very expensive. So we're going to have to go without, unfortunately. Okay, he's finally going to go and maybe siege out my capital. But that should be fine because we've got some good stuff here. Oh, we're at 1.2 per day. Rampant disease! 20%! Increased siege. Nice. <laughs> oh, lost your chance when he was a knight. <gasps> he's back! Rhino came back! It doesn't matter what what multiverse we're in. The cat always comes back. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to save the game. This way we can truly save scum. Whew. Rampant disease. Nice. Yeah, everyone loves a rampant disease. That's the thing. You know, that's my complaint about 2020. Not enough rampant disease. Yeah. Anyway. Funny, our, our, our war score is back to 0%, but the defender controls the war targets, so that's part of it. So he's getting a ticking war score. Um, we are going to siege this out soon, and then we can go and kick his ass, hopefully before he sieges out my castle and, like, takes me and my siblings prisoners, which is sort of kind of what happened last time. Done. All right, let's go smash. Oh, we're at 100%. Let's go enforce demands. 17 months ago we started it. This is way harder than I thought it was going to be, than it did, was not my test, but we'll see. Within the target title, all titles held by Asutra rulers are seized, and any Catholic rulers are vassalized to you. I will seize all territory within the Count's realm, which isn't much. Um, our allies will share 100 prestige based on their contribution. I'll gain 50 devotion, uh, which is sort of piety level up kind of stuff, because this is a holy war. Excellent. Enforce demands. To the cold-hearted units. Dude, I'm like 11 years old. Yeah, 11 years old. 
May your humors rot in your living body. You are a much greater foe than I imagined. Well, actually, I was pretty shit, but I had some friends. In order to put an end to this bloodshed, I will comply with your demands. Signed, some guy with a lot of double letters. Here's whiskey and chocolate. So be it. Okay. Making a note here, huge success. We have this land. We are at a domain limit of 4 of 4, which is great. More battle info over here. We have low county control in Montague. What's the deal with this? Whiskey and chocolate. You guys look at the whiskey and chocolate. Oh, I was hoping that I could tab out and keep that tool tip up there. I was going to say, you guys look at this while I look at whiskey and chocolate, but we'll see. Um, ba -dum bum 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 <laughs> Uh, so, um, okay. What was it before? The sneaky coconut. Fuzzy Lumpus, uh, sent in a little bit ago. <laughs> I was trying to focus on the war. Said, why lie? This is definitely a bribe. I don't know what I'm bribing you to do, but you better do it. Fuzzy, I will absolutely do something I was going to do anyway, and I'll pretend that it was because you told me to do it. AC Foltzer. Oh my gosh. You guys. Thank you so much today, everyone. Thank you so much. Uh, just a down payment for many more years of CK3. Hashtag content. Or is it content? Either way, it works for me. Uh, True Logic says, been watching you since your England EU3 Let's Play. Finally time to give something back. Happy the stream is at a time that works with European time. Also, is the Mashriki Kingdom in this? Yes, yes it is. I need to know if they capitulated yet. So, that's a shout out to my Hoi4 um, Kaiserreich Let's Play that we did a while ago. With some in-jokes over there. And Jägermeister, thank you. He says, need kitties. Love your streams, though I'm mostly a YouTube viewer. Thank you for helping me get better at strategy games from Hoi4 to Surviving Mars. Every time Surviving Mars comes up, I'm like, yeah, and I, I need to play Surviving Mars now. It's such a perfect chill game. I really enjoy it. And Banana Cabana says, pet your cat. Well, now that we're not busy warring, I think it is indeed time to pet Rhino. Come here, Rhino. Come here, Rhino. Come here, boy. Oh, there we go. Oh. Different, uh, different uh, flavor text this time for petting Rhino. I find Rhino sleeping in my chambers, and I sit down beside him. I'm greeted by a quiet, confused chirp. However, I start running my fingers through his white fur. He quickly starts purring in contentment, and a sound seems to relax my whole being. Ooh, 11 stress. Not that I had any, but that's okay. Um, okay, so we have been told we have low control in Montague. So control is one of the new traits in this game, where when you take over territory especially, it's going to come with fairly low control. Eh, you can think of it a little bit like autonomy in uh, EU4, but it's mostly, you know, we don't have the peasant rabble um, properly underfoot yet. Uh, so this will improve over time. We can increase the rate at which control grows by sending our marshal there. Um, right here. Oh, I, we may have to wait a tick for a couple of things to be uh, resulted in. And I can disband my army as well. Let's do that. Let's just wait a day here. And I should be able to... There we go. Increase control. Oh, he might have been... Maybe because he was being a knight in my army. So, we can increase the control over here and try to bring it to max. If we compare over in Anjou, we have 100 control, which gives us more bonuses. And the county of Samar is also 100. Yeah, so we've started with 100 everywhere, which is lovely for now. Good evening, Mr. Bond. You have interfered in my plans for the last time. <laughs> Question is, can the cat become an assassin? Now, that would be swell. We had a little bit of money. You can see here the increased control. We actually see it represented on the map, which is lovely. What's the rest of my council doing? You are sucking up the religious people. You could fabricate claims. I don't think we really need to do that right now. Um, Chancellor can either focus on foreign affairs or domestic affairs as an automatic thing without having to put them anywhere. Uh, collect taxes or increase development. So provinces do have a development number, which can be increased with there. But I think the collect taxes is more where we want to be right now. You're increasing control, and you are disrupting schemes, which I think is going to be okay for right this second. I do have a coastline now, which is really exciting. We should maybe take a look at who we could betroth to right now. Um, ooh, Eudokia here. And she's 18. So, I mean, by the time we come of age, she'll be in her early 20s. But that's not the end of the world. She's not Catholic. But she's both quick and a... Wait. Wait, what? She's quick and a genius? I thought she was going to be, like, quick and attractive or something. I propose that we get married. The only thing I know about you is that you're really smart. And hopefully you can make you Catholic later. Wow. We're going to lose a bunch of prestige. 
Chance of children medium. Oh, that's quite cool. All right, we're gonna send that proposal. We're at negative prestige right now. That'll have to. That'll have to be okay. Um, family members can get married. Two of my half sisters can get married. I'm just gonna marry them matrilineally to anyone who might have a good genetic trait, just to build up our family size. Um, oh, traits, heritable. You can marry that guy. Oh, I meant matrilineal. Oh well, matrilineal. Filter inheritable. Uh, you can marry this one over here. Medium, medium rare. We got money for occupying Montague. Cold heart! What? Dude! I'm an 11 year old kid! Why are you calling me cold hearted? I mean, I'm shy and pensive. Count Hugo. Oh, this is my liege. Declare, or Duke Hugo. Declared war on a count. All right. Our succession laws right now they're they're pretty bad because we're pretty low tech here so lands are definitely get divided right now um because we have four counties they would get divided among up to four children if we had them which would be no good what we really want is a count level title or duke level title so if we look at the duchy over here which is currently run by my half brother we are unfortunately not in the line of succession for this which is unfortunate Definitely want something. Yeah, kill until you are. I mean, maybe, yeah. We are... Oh, hold on. We have a claim we can press for the Duchy of Anjou. Okay. So there is something that could be done. We have an alliance with them, though. And we don't have as many troops. But maybe something could happen. It's whiskey and chocolate. It's more whiskey and chocolate. Uh, Bawulda, thank you very much. Long time viewer, here's some ducats for all the entertainment. Also seduction lifestyle, maybe? Mmm, maybe. Yeah. Oh, man. Well, part of it... Oh, I meant to see who are... Who's, um... Who's educating us? We don't have a guardian. I mean, we could... We could pick one. It's whiskey and chocolate. Because we should get the um, education category of whoever educates us. Remember, Red is pretty good. Astute intellectual. Get that learning. My half-sister. Legendary blade master. That sounds like fun. Ooh, brilliant strategist. So that's interesting. The blade master um, is giving us only prowess, not martial. As opposed to brilliant strategist, which is giving us martial. Yeah, the numbers, the viewers are pretty crazy today. Yeah, well, our, our sister here has good learning. I kind of like that. The other thing is because we have no intrigue, we might want to look at that. Or we might want to look at someone who's got high diplomatic skill. Um, wow. Sorted by diplomacy, and there's no one There's no one really in our family who's got that diplomatic skill. You can get someone who's smart to train us. I don't know. Bertha here, I think, is going to be a fine it's pick. Whiskey, Let's go be smart. Wait, wait, wait. I'm set to stewardship education. Am I? Is it because of pensive? How can you see that I'm stewardship education right now? Is it because of the pensive? Was set before the game. Yeah, because you set the education early. Bottom left to portrait. Thank you! Education, focus, stewardship. Okay. So let's get educated by someone else who's got one of the stewardship traits. Unload. We don't have anyone that's really good in that category. Maybe it doesn't matter. Yeah, I mean, I know the Blade Master is Marshall. Tell you what, he's my brother in law and he's quick. Let's do that. I'll become his ward, he'll like me. I don't know if it's really going to matter. Maybe we don't need to worry about this. You know what? Screw it. Let's just do our own thing. Just be a self-learner. We're going to be okay. 
And yeah, different culture and faith. I mean, if we don't hit the button, it's not going to auto-convert us. It might still happen, which would be annoying. Still got to make friends with the bishop. We can declare some wars, although I think we'll take a beat to do that. If we can accrue a little bit of money, it would be good. It would be nice if we got some upgrades on some of our buildings, too. That would be really helpful. We don't need to.